Hi, and welcome to another video in the RHCSA video series. Today's video is on scheduled tasks using AT and CRON. So there are AT and CRON are two basically task schedulers, equivalents in all windows. So it allows you to run things um, at a particular time or on a regular basis. AT allows you to um, schedule something in the future. So you can say, I, I want you to run this particular uh, command or write this particular file in three days time um, or you can even run scripts um, same with Crontab, the Crontab you can just basically schedule stuff to run constantly so if you want something to run and uh, maybe you had like a backup script or something like that you'd want it to run I don't know every night at 10 o'clock you would schedule it using Cron and Cron would run that um, repetitively depending on how you um, schedule it so you could schedule it every every Sunday you could schedule it every Sunday at two o'clock and you could also have another schedule to run it again at every Monday at three o'clock. So it's it's quite flexible cron and you can it it's um yeah it's quite a big tool. So first we'll just cover at um so if it's not installed already let's go and just double check. So uh sudo sudo bash uh, and install it yeah, it should be already installed I'm fairly sure it is. Just double check. Cool, so yeah, it's already installed. Let's see if it's running. It's running, so there's nothing to do with regards to that. All running and good. So we can schedule stuff literally as easy as at, and then when you want to run it, so we can say now plus. And uh, let's leave one for the sake of this. Yeah. And you can see it's then got at command line. Yeah. And then we just, so what we just done is echo or write to a file, uh, write the words test. And that's redirecting to the test.txt file, so it's going to write that. And if we do a control D, we then go end of command there, and we've got one job as scheduled. Okay. So if you want to uh, check the queue, it's ATQ, and we can see there's one job. Job one is queued for, for this time in one minute, and as is a root. We can actually remove it by ATRM and the job number. And it looks like it's already run. Yep, may have done already. Yep, it's already run. So let's just do a check. We should have that test. And it's got the test I wrote in just a second ago. Okay, so let's do schedule another one for minutes. Uh, perhaps the same thing. Uh, let's do maybe think a bit more in the future so we could actually have. Um, I think we have a script somewhere. So we have um, uh, got things. Okay, so we've got script.sh there. Let's do a minute. So you can see a bit easier. So it's in script.sh. So we're going to get to run that script. So we're going to do at and then we're going to do a time. So we do 3 pm. And then we can say, I don't know, in three days' time. So it's three pm in three days' time. I'm going to run minus F and the script. So it's script sh and press enter. It will run the command job three and it will run at this time, three o'clock in three days' time, March the third today and March the sixth. It will run. Awesome. So now we can check our queue again, ATQ. And you can see job three, which is just mentioned, and you can see that there. And if you want to remove that, you can do it. A T R M remove and then the job ID three. Okay. And the ATQ again, and it's gone. So that's pretty much that. It's pretty simple. Um, so it's minus F to run the script. Other than that, you can just run it straight in the command line. So basically, look at uh, running any kind of uh, shell command. So you could write something. You could edit a particular file. You could append to the file, whatever you wanted to do. It's quite flexible uh, in that way. 
So now moving on to uh, cron. So there's cron. Um, so cron or cron tab um, allows you to schedule schedule tasks more uh, repetitive tasks. So we're going to um, edit the cron tab. So there's a cron tab per user. So you can actually edit if, if you're a root user, you can edit a cron tab for other users. Um, but for general crons uh, scheduling, you may want to run it as a backup user so you could sue into that user. Or you could potentially um, run it as the root user. Obviously, it's not recommended because if you mess something up, then it's, it's got a full execute permission, which is a bit dangerous, but it's up to you how you run it. So to, to uh, edit the cron, um, so the cron is the actual cron is cron is the actual daemon that runs, and you've got cron tab that would actually um, you edit to actually make you know, change it. So cron tab minus e is the so edit it, and so you're editing it as the user, and you can see complete blank, and it's in a VI at the moment. So it's a little complex in the way it does the dates and times. Um, in most ways, it's kind of backwards what people would expect. So to show you the brilliant website here, um, quantabs.guru, OK? So it actually explains uh, a lot of the quantab lines. Um, so if you go in here now, let us start. So first is the minute. So we can say I want it to run at, I don't know, 50 minutes to the space and then we want the hour so we're going to say 22 day so we can say if you want to do you can also do any start any value you can do um, a multiple a list to do like every I don't know, second day of the month every fifth and then every seventh or something like that if you wanted to that could potentially work um so you can do something like that, or you could just do stars. So I may want to run it at 22.50 every day of the month. And there we go. So that would be the day of the month. So it could be the 22nd of the month. So if I change this to month 20 seconds, the next time we run the 20 seconds. Yeah. Right. Uh, you can also specify the month. I only want to run it month for April. I'm only running April. Or you could also say I only want to run it on Saturdays. So you could say uh, I think Saturday is six. Yes. So good memory there. Uh, so yes, yeah, starts on Sunday and then ends up on Saturday. So. It's, so it's Monday ends up on Saturday, so Sunday would be seven. So seven is non standard I normally Monday is zero. Um, and you've got Y for Monday. So it starts on Monday and ends up on Saturday. So I will just do that. And let me just edit the time slightly. So I'd do minus in a second. So let's just do that. So then we can just copy this, make your life easier. But also, you obviously, you can remember this, try to remember this bit there. And so that will schedule that at that time, and then just specify what you want to run. The only thing you need to know is with Quantab, it doesn't have any kind of path. So uh, if you miss anything there, you need to give the full path of any uh, script. So if it's going to run, I don't know, it's going to try and run an executable or somewhere else in a directory, and it normally is in your path. So you can just run it like, I don't know, just say Python, just run Python straight up. You will need to give the full path to Python because that it may not have the variables for um, for your cron tab, so for your cron, so you need to make sure you provide the full path. No, anyway, so you can do like home and uh, documents and then script .sh, for example, and that will run that at that time. Or we could do. Let's do another one. Yeah, do two. And do two. So I'm going to do two. I'm going to just do echo test to test. And then do cron test. So I'll do right. 
and now we'll just do, we can do a contab minus L to list. And you can see what, what we've got currently configured. So both of these should have actually run now. So my script, I don't think it does anything at all. So that would have run. And then this echo should be there. So we should have a contest. Minus. I ah, see, I haven't given the directory. So it hasn't done it in there. So it will be doing it in the root users directory. So here we go. That's created there. And we can do that on root on test. And you can see test. Okay, cool. There's one more thing I uh, well, a couple more things I want to mention for the cast to contab. So you can do contab minus u, and you can specify user, and then minus e. So now I'm editing for a completely different user. Uh, and yeah, you can put whatever you want for that user as their contab. So you can see it's creating contab for that user. So you can only do that as a root user or the user's got re relevant permissions, but in this case, yep, I am the root user, so I can do that for that user. Uh, the final thing to mention is also there's some um, cron directories. So you can literally put um, scripts in here. Uh, so if you want it to run daily, you can actually add the, um, the scripts in there that will run, it'll run daily, or if you want to have it run hourly, monthly, weekly. And by literally just putting in some selections again, like for example, backup, you could have it run daily that way. So it's quite a nice, um, very quick way to to um, add that option. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So at is just for probably one time um, scripts. Um, you need to add them. It could be a reboot or something like that. You want to write reboot overnight, and you can schedule it using something like that. And then cron tab uh, or cron will be actually uh, be for regular tasks like backup scripts or the like. As always, there's the, um, the man, manual pages for this. So there'll be one for Chrome. And yeah, you can read all, the, all about it there. And there'll be a man for AT or at. You can see the, the things I've mentioned as the previous. And yeah, you have to the infos as well for Chrome. And info so it's all there if you need to refer, refer to something. Okay, that pretty much covers that. Um, so that covers all this, all the requirements for that particular section. Um, so uh, as always, I've popped my uh, sponsors on the page. So I've got my Sophos uh, antivirus option there. It's fantastic there. It's totally free if you want to use the free version. There's also a page version, which is obviously got more freeing features. Um, there's the VPS option with um, Hostinger, which provides uh, a virtual server. You can run uh, CentOS, CentOS 8, and you can have it uh, while you're out and about, wherever you are. Uh, as long as you can get to SSH, you can SSH to that node and practice anywhere in the world. And then we've got my T public, uh, so that's my merchandise, if you're interested in anything like that. And then finally, the Kofi page. So Kofi is just my, uh, just drop me a small donations. Uh, I've had some come through, uh, which is fantastic. Thank you very much for all your donations out there. Uh, much appreciated. It helps me continue doing this and uh, keeps me motivated to keep going on. Um, thanks again for everyone for uh, watching. Uh, catch you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye.